Hey guys, good morning. We are now starting the video number three on the dive signs and uh, we're excited to see how these things turned out. Uh, on the last video, we had completed all the carving. Now we got to do the edging, the spraying, the sanding off, the finishing, the painting. We should get all that wrapped up on this video. So we're going to do kind of rustic, um, rustic edges on these things. I'm going to do one version. Ryan's going to do a different version. I am using the uh, medium disc. I'm not sure if this is concave or convex, but I've got the medium disc. This is a cuts all item. We love the, the cuts all stuff. And I'm just going to do some rough edge. Now with me, I kind of have to have something to go by. I'm not like a free form kind of guy. So it's kind of weird in that sense. So even though I'm not really going to be going by these lines, I've just put these lines on here for a reference. So I've got something to kind of direct me of where I'm at. I know that doesn't make much sense, but it does to me. So, And that's what matters. Yeah, right. So I've got my leather gloves on. I've got my face shield. You want to definitely be protected when you're using this bad boy because it will eat flesh really quickly. Uh, all right, here we go. <laughs> So that's a little bit, that's a little bit different than my norm. I just want to do something that has kind of a free form, but then I kind of took that and made kind of a chamfer all the way down the edge. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that somewhat on the other three edges. And uh, do you, next... Do you want to turn it around and show them the chamfer? Oh yeah, I guess I can. So that's kind of what we're, we're looking at. I may work on that a little bit more, but again, uh, this isn't something that I'm you know, generally comfortable with things that have kind of a free form look, but I'm trying. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm kind of OCD that way, um, but I'm trying. So anyway, there's a lot of cool edges. I think Ryan's edge is going to be really cool as well. So I'm going to finish up mine. When we come back, Ryan will be doing his. All right, everybody. So because my, my sign, it's a flag, right? It's a rustic. Can you see that, Deb? Yeah, there you go. It's a you know a beat up flag, and I wanted to put this here, and I'm gonna kind of emulate this a little bit as much as I can on the edges. I want it to have a wavy look to it. So I'm gonna use the sander, the uh, disc sander instead of the uh, grinder, because I think that'll give me a little bit smoother edges as opposed to the uh, the uh, sharp stuff that Dad did. So. Let's try this. That's kind of what I'm going for right there, just to give it a little bit of a smoother. Um, here, can you set that front edge down oh, yeah. in front here? I think they might be able to see it yeah. a little bit better that way. There we go. Just to kind of give it a little bit of a smoother, wavy look to it. So I'm going to finish this off camera, and then um, we'll be back, and we are going to... Actually, no, we're going to spray these off camera, because you guys don't need to see us spray it. So we're gonna when we come back we'll be sanding these things off and dad's will be finished and mine I still have painting to do which I'm stoked about so stick with us we'll be right back all right let's get this thing sanded off so 
We put uh, we put our black on. I've got a 60 grit on my disc sander, 120 on the random orbital. That's kind of my normal deal, um, unless it's really soft wood, but that wouldn't uh, apply here. This is not necessarily really soft. Here we go. That thing looks freaking awesome, Dad. That I think really... the further you get away, you know, the more that picture actually comes into play. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, thing looks I'm, good. I'm happy with that. See, that edge looks nice, huh? Yeah, it looks all right. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, I'm good with it. I think it fits for this sign. No doubt. It definitely fits this sign. So Yeah. Cool. cool. All right, guys. We're coming back, and Ryan's going to do his. Get out guys I'm gonna have some high spots because that was a lot of cleanup to do but that's an easy fix so let's see here That thing cool. turned out pretty cool. That is cool. That is really cool. 
I just got to go through here, fix those high. That's no big deal. And then uh, when we come back, guys, we're going to put a clear coat on them and uh, let you see the almost, well, dad's finished product and mine 75% finished. So stick with us. We'll be right back. All right, guys, it was time to finally pull out the critter gun. Now we're putting helmsman on this because I really don't know whether Ken, the gentleman that ordered these, are putting them outside or inside. Generally, I've been going with Czar, but I really like the amber color that this is going to give the board because this is so white. So um, we're going to go with Helmsman. This is a Helmsman Spar Urethane, and this is uh, oil based. So that's all I really have. So we've already done the back. Now we're doing the front. So I go around all, all the edges first. We'll probably leave this set for all the time. It's about the middle of the day right now. I'll probably leave it set for the remainder of the day. Maybe put another coat on tonight. Maybe not. Maybe tomorrow. Oh yeah, I like that. Yeah. I like the way it's giving it a little bit of that amber, amber color. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I'm spraying it at about 50 pounds pressure with my compressor. And uh, this is spraying, it's it's uh, diluted. It's thin at about 20%. And uh, with, you know, regular paint thinner. Actually, I think I used lacquer thinner in here. And, uh, and it sprays really good. So that's uh, the critter sprayer. We're going to leave this set for a while. We're going to go ahead and do Ryan's sign completely off camera when we come back. This will be done with three coats, at least three, maybe four coats, and Ryan's sign will be done, and then he'll be doing some painting on it. So stick with us. We'll be right back. Okay, guys. So we've got three coats of uh, the Helmsman Spar Urethane, and it's got a really nice finish on it. So now we get to my favorite part. This is what I love, love doing is the painting but i do think it's really gonna um it's really gonna add to the sign so the logo the white will be on the stripe and then the skull but it's kind of a dingy white so i actually added like two drops of brown to kind of get this white not quite so bright not quite so brilliant if you will so I'm going to start off on the skull and I got a teeny tiny little brush here for the teeth and the, the smaller lines. So let's get to it. And what kind of paint are you using? This is the one shot paint and uh, this stuff, man, it really does cover just one shot, which is nice. So, this thing looks awesome, man. I, I'm glad that we, we deadened the white and the red a little bit to where it's not bright. You know, it's supposed to look ragged and beat up. Um, and I just, I just dig the way this thing looks. I'm, I'm stoked with it. So, the lines 
the black lines on the the white stripe i wasn't sure about it at first but dad said that you know we got to do it otherwise you're going to try to make a line with the paint but i actually think it adds to it you think it so de it definitely does there's yeah. no doubt and i knew it would because i've done stuff like that in the past where i put that black line in there to um to separate those colors and it's not like it stands out as a black line. It just stands out as really separating those colors. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. It, it looks freaking cool. I, I'm really happy with both of these. So when we come back, guys, we're gonna show you. Um, we're gonna show you the finished product. We're gonna let this dry probably for I don't know six or eight hours, something like that. And we'll come back and we'll have both the finished products, and and you guys can decide which one looks better. We all know. Hey guys, all right, we're back. We got them all done. Ryan finished up his painting. It's uh, it's still not quite dry, but it's dry enough that we can film this final scene. And uh, super happy with the way they came out. Um, I, I love them both. I will say, I think Ryan's is more spectacular with all the background and that red and the white. And uh, I love the way this was his idea to do this shape around there to kind of match the edging. I think it looks good. I honestly, I like my edging a little bit better. Yeah, I think uh, I do too. I like this edging a little bit better, but this goes with the you know really with that background shape. So um, this uh, was really kind of difficult to do when you're looking at it up close, but the further away that you get, like where the camera is right now, everything kind of comes into focus. And it was, uh, so it was a little difficult and the transfer wasn't really crystal clear like it was on Ryan's. Yeah, but, this one uh, came out good. The transfer was really good. I think good the transfer came out better on that one. Uh, but anyway, uh, super happy with these things. What's your thoughts, Ryan? I think Ken's going to love them, man. I really do. These things came out great. Um, kind of different. The, the font, I really like the font. It was super hard to carve because everything's at a slant. So there's no straight lines really. Um, but man, it was, it was a lot of fun and they came out great. That's to me, that's the best part of, you know, sign carving is seeing the finished product and seeing how happy your customer is once they get their, their sign. So I still think mine's better, but I'll always think mine is better. Um, and remember guys that everything we used, uh, on here, uh, all the router bits and the, the base plate and everything is on the website. You can see it up here. I'm assuming I'm pointing the right way, uh, makeawoodsign.com. And uh, don't forget that we're doing the giveaway until the end of July. You're going to get, uh, if anybody orders $50 or more worth of products, you're entered into a drawing to get the Milwaukee and better. You can order more than once for every $50. Yeah, more. yeah. Every yeah. time you do. For so, every $50 increment that you order, you're entered again. So if you order a $150 order, you got three entries in yeah. there. So. And it's fully modified the way we do ours yep. with a base plate on it. So we um, open up the back. It's a four, It's basically about a $400 tool. Yeah. So and the Milwaukee is it's good. It Two is. batteries, the charger, the whole All deal. It, the so. whole the whole deal. So, so. Thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, Dad. Or yeah. if you got any questions, you can email Dad. Yep. Email me, Eric at makeawoodsign.com or uh, Ryan with Dave signs at gmail.com and uh, we're happy to help. Yeah, we got uh, more big projects coming up, so stay tuned and uh, let us know what you think. Give us some comments what you think, uh, you know, how bad his is, how good mine is. If it's the other way around, yeah, just keep it to yourself. Yeah, keep it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, we love you. We'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. Bye.